This is Calimar here, and no, it's not Calamari. It's good to see you again. Or if you're new to the pond, go ahead and take a dive. You might like it here. I'm back again with another makeover video similar to the one I did for Marinette, but this time I'm going to be doing one for Adrian. I just figured it's the natural progression because these videos tend to not take very long for me to make and I get to put the characters in fun outfits and Adrian being a model, it's only logical that he'd have really cool fashionable clothes and probably wears different clothes for every day of the week if not every occasion of the day. So I thought today I could maybe come up with some fun outfits that Adrian could wear to school or maybe on a photo shoot. Just anytime he's going to be seen out in public as the son of the famous and reclusive top designer Gabriel Agrest. As usual, I will be coming up with three different ensembles and you guys can pick the one you like best in the comments below. But before we dive into it, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. We know them, we love them. I'm here to tell you about the newest addition to Raid and my personal favorite legendary champion from High Elves faction, Deliana. Deliana is one of the strongest support champions in the entire game. She possesses some great skill sets and abilities which will be helpful for all players no matter what stage they are. Raid is currently running a special Deliana chase event where you can get your very own Deliana just by logging in. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 20th and you'll get Deliana for free. That's it! All players can unlock Deliana and the gifts keep on coming. New players can enter promo code MYDELIANA to get your hands on 50 XP brews to instantly get her to level 50. And there's a ton happening in Raid this month, including an entirely new event for the Summer Solstice. It's called the Path of Light and a set of skins for the amazing Trunda Git Mallet. This is the best time to get started in Raid and if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code here, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30, a free epic champion. Champion Tayrell, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, and 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard. So download Raid today if you want to support me, and with that, let's dive right into the video. So this first design, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the pose. Um, I knew I wanted him kind of looking cool like he's at a photo shoot just holding a book looking like he's focusing on studying or something but really he's just looking at a, a how-to guide on how to make friends probably so the style that i wanted to do for this particular ensemble was really hard for me to come by i had to scroll quite a bit on pinterest for inspiration but then I saw this image and it was exactly what I was trying to go for for this first look. I definitely wanted to expand on that sleek turtleneck he was wearing in his original design just without the coat. Maybe something a bit more grunge or kind of um, contemporary. I guess you could say this is something of an e-boy look. And I thought, why not? It's it's pretty in style and it looks fashionable enough. Like it wouldn't be too far out of place if you wore it to like a high-end mall. Um, so I decided to have him kind of looking down for this at his book. And that really helped me practice a bit on drawing heads from kind of different angles with his head slightly tilted down. I don't know if I actually accomplished that, but I did do my best. For his headshot, I definitely attempted to give him more delicate looking features. I wanted him to be a pretty boy, like really pretty boy instead of a kind of masculine or manly. And it also has something to do with the fact that he's still pretty young. I don't think he would really um, grow into his masculinity yet. 
and I just really wanted him to seem like someone you would look at and think wow some people are just born lucky so yeah for the lines I decided to use Razero's highlight pen once again which is one of my favorite pens for line art just because it has a bit of texture and it has really good line weight as well especially if you have a device that has very good pressure sensitivity Keep in mind that this video is sped up like a lot. I usually redo my lines like a hundred times to get them perfect because when you're doing lines, it's not just about getting the shape right, it's also getting that um, thickness of the line right. So that happens when you are pulling a line and then you're pressing down with different types of pressure and I find that that's one of the hardest things to learn as a beginner artist and even now sometimes I get lazy and just um, pull strokes absentmindedly when really you should be really paying attention to that pressure if you want your line art to look more dynamic and the way I determine which areas would have thicker lines and which areas would have lighter lines is just based on where I want the shadows to fall. So usually I make the lines thicker in areas where it would be shadowed and I make it thinner around the areas where sunlight or light would be hitting the subject and that kind of just helps with my line dynamics. And it also makes the drawing come more alive. Even without any colors, you get a sense of where the light is pretty much coming from. Um, you can also use line thickness to draw emphasis on certain details. And I think this is really the case for areas, shadowed areas, or maybe if you want a particular accessory to stand out or particular detailing in the clothes. Um, for the hair specifically here, I'm just shading, well, lining based off of shadow placement. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I started coloring in and as you can see there, um, I went with a, re a darker tone for his skin uh, because I was just following the tone I did use originally for the redesign. That was really um, unintentional. I know Adrian isn't meant to be like tan skinned, but that was what happened when I color picked off of his character model and I must have gotten like a shadowed area. So he ended up being more tan in my design and honestly I kind of like that. I feel like um, with a lot of models, um, a lot of times they'll be like a bit sun-kissed and that's kind of like an appeal to their look. And it really works well with his blonde hair as well. So. Um, I decided to keep it. His hair as well is a bit darker in this version. It's not meant to be this dark. Um, this is the base color I used originally for Adrian as well in my redesign. But the thing with that redesign is that I used a much more complex shading technique with a lot more detail and highlights. And the highlights are really what give off that illusion of blondness like golden blonde whereas without um, all that fancy lighting his hair just kind of looks brown and I do end up rectifying that down the line with these uh, makeover videos because I'm 
um, making three consecutive designs at once. I try to uh, shorten my workload in order to get the product out in a timely manner. So I try to use a more simplistic shading style. This was actually the shading style that I was using for my comic Amber Hills to try and save time. Uh, but I ended up starting to shade a bit more detail just because I found my um, skill level kind of increasing and I was able to do more complex shading a lot faster. And I really do need to get on and start uh, the next episode for my comic, but it's so difficult to find time sometimes. Looking back, I realized just how much um, this version of Adrian really reminded me of Link from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess specifically. I think it, it's probably the hairstyle and the hair color and the really pretty delicate features. I didn't realize this while I was drawing him initially but then re-watching the footage I realized just um, I was subconsciously drawing Link and that really checks out because Link is one of my favorite male video game characters and one of the reasons I like him so much is because he's such a pretty character. Um, I do like male characters that are quite masculine like Thor and things like that but there is something to be said about the more delicate kind of beautiful men that you would look at him and you'd think oh he's handsome but you'd also think he's really beautiful. I think that's also the kind of look that would really be appealing in a model especially a male model um, or female models. Androgyny is a big advantage, I think, in that kind of profession since you're able to pull off any sort of clothes and sell anything. And that's kind of what I was going for with Adrian, giving him really long, delicate lashes and just making him look overall very, um, very picturesque and photogenic. It just whatever he does, he always looks beautiful. Kind of like Komi-san from Komi Can't Communicate. And this is the final result. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For this next outfit, I once again struggled with the pose, the mindset I went into doing these redesigns for Adrian is basically what would he look like on a photo shoot. So I wanted him kind of looking casual but kind of posed and I don't think that's how he is just um, on photo shoots. I very much imagine him just unintentionally uh, posing or standing a certain way because that's how he's used to being directed and probably how he's used to being told to stand or sit or do things in a certain way. It's just again hammering home the point that he looks amazing no matter what he's doing, that he would just draw your eyes to him every time. And I'm still doing uh, the very delicate lashes to make him look uh, very pretty as opposed to handsome because he is still a young boy and I want him, that. I just think that look would suit him. Again, using the same pen just to do the line art. Something I forgot to mention in the previous video was that a lot of these outfit inspirations actually came from the same aesthetic, which was dark academia. It wasn't very apparent in the previous one because somehow that kind of uh, e-boy look ended up in dark academia, but I think this one fell more closely in line to the aesthetic. And I just think that Adrian's style, or at least my version of Adrian, is very um, dressed up. He's uh, always wearing these two-piece uh, 
outfits, layers, um, belts, and accessories, all of those things. He doesn't just um, show up looking like he tossed random things out of his closet onto himself uh, like in the original. Um, they're definitely very styled and purposefully messy. The way his clothes hang off of him is definitely very calculated where even if it looks like his shirt is hanging loose, it was done in a very deliberate manner. I think Adrian's style is definitely that kind of semi-formal, studious vibe, but you know, something you would see someone uh, from a very wealthy family wearing uh, around their country clubs. I didn't want to go full-on country club because I don't think uh, Gabriel and Adrian are that kind of people, so I tried to tie in more closely to um, old money sophistication and just exemplary academic achievement, I suppose. Uh, that's kind of the look I was trying to go for here with the comfortable sweater vest and the colored button-up shirt, but still with a hint of like casualness with it being untucked a certain way um, and his sleeves rolled up. Because I also get a lot of questions about what program I'm using, it's Clip Studio Paint and I really like Clip Studio Paint because it, it really gives you a lot of tools to streamline your production, um, especially with things like free brushes you can just download off of the material store like for example the knitting details on Adrian's sweater is actually a brush and it just saved me so much time uh, from having to actually detail that myself and it, it looks much better than what it would have looked like if I did it by myself. Another thing you would have noticed from the previous one that I forgot to mention as well is that I am only adding blush to the outer corners of his eyes and I think that's a really nice way to add blush to a guy just because it, it almost looks like eyeshadow and I find that really kind of attractive. I don't know if this is attractive to everybody, but I personally really like it. It's um, It gives a more lifted look, uh, kind of feminine but not too feminine. Uh, it's, it's very different from how I blushed Marinette. And as you can see here, I'm changing the hair color to how it should look in the show because Adrian is a golden retriever kind of boy with bright blonde hair and not um, sandy blonde hair. So that needed to be adjusted, keeping in mind that I'm not doing the fancy shading I did for his redesign. So um, I had to adjust accordingly. And now he kind of reminds me of... Hyrule Warriors Link, just everything about um, Adrian right now is, is reminding me of Link from Legend of Zelda, and that's a good thing. I think this warm tone really suits his complexion better because I accidentally gave him more of a warmer undertone compared to the neutral in the show, but um, I think it's really nice. Um, 
I'm just detailing his eyes a bit and again drawing in those eyelashes and eye shine just to give a bit more detail. This is actually all experimental because um, there's another character I'm doing that requires me to make a character look really delicate and kind of feminine and pretty, uh, which you guys will find out uh, very soon. This is the final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And now we get to the third and final outfit, which I really wasn't sure what else to do at this point. I had a sense of what Adrian's style mostly is. He's very dark academia with um, those fancy looking coats that you would see a lot of um, university students wear um, in university towns maybe. For this particular look, I decided to lean into that a bit more um, with layering. So this particular outfit that I was inspired by took me so long to find. I really wasn't feeling any of the outfits I had seen um, on my feed and this one just kind of stood out to me because I thought the colors were quite different to what I was doing before and I think it really suited Adrian's chic, expensive looking aesthetic, I guess. I know that these are probably outfits that were picked out for him, so he doesn't really get a say in them. It's, I guess this is less of what he would actually pick for himself and more of how his family image should look like. So it's, it's, kind of more of branding than expressing who he really is because obviously the Agrest family is a very well-known and wealthy family in Paris so they need to keep up appearances and he's not just allowed to do whatever he wants and that's kind of leading into why he's so desperate to be free and do whatever he wants as Cat Noir being that it's kind of his only escape from his stifling lifestyle. But that's just my version of Adrian. Uh, feel free to watch that full video in the playlist. But yeah, I mentioned before how I needed to draw a character who actually was quite a, a pretty boy, shall we say. And that's because I'm drafting my own Miraculous Ladybug alternate universe slash spin-off where I'm going to be basically inventing my own world and cast of characters using the power concept of Miraculous Ladybug where they have magical accessories that help them transform and magical creatures inhabiting the accessories. Um, it's just set in a more mature context, I suppose, because all the characters are adults in their mid-20s and it's, it's a story that I would relate to more and a concept that I've always wanted to do. So this is a great opportunity, I think, to really expand on that for a bit of a hint to what I wanted to do for that story is that I'm planning for it to have kind of a more comic book undertone like a Marvel or DC undertone which I think was what Miraculous Ladybug was initially going for but it ended up swaying more to the Saturday morning cartoon format. Um, so I'm gonna try and capture that original concept particularly in the overall mood, costume design, and storytelling. Uh, it, not completely because I do have my own spin on it and I have a rough image of what I want to do. But essentially, it's going to center around four main protagonists who form their own magical girl group. And it's them kind of juggling their lives 
uh, in their mid-twenties and superhero work at the same time. Some of them um, are going to university, some of them are working full-time and it's just kind of navigating those things as well as their own struggles I suppose with mental health and coping with adult life as well as just uh, plot related things meant to push the story along it's it's kind of it's not going to be very grounded in reality though I do hope to have certain moments where it feels like it's it might be real life but a lot of it is going to be very um of obviously superpowers uh, taking down um, crime organizations and things like that. So if that interests you guys, definitely stay tuned for my next video where I will be speaking more in depth about that. I've been planning it for weeks and hopefully you guys will like it. I might share the designs I have of the characters I have so far on my Patreon. So please definitely consider uh, joining that if you're interested. I've also posted like a few sneak peeks on my Discord server, so please join my Discord server as well. And now I'm just, again, shading in, giving Adrian um, some nice color back to his face so he doesn't look so flat. I find that shading noses with red and then just hitting it with a lighter color really helps add dimension as well so I've been doing that in these designs and I'm not really convinced that these colors really work for Adrian especially the blue doesn't really help his warm complexion thinking back on it I definitely should have changed the coat color to something else but <laughs> say la vie For some reason, this Adrian is giving me very Skyward Sword Link. I'm just all of my Adrian designs with Link. And um, that's probably because I aspire for my version of Adrian to have the same level of chaos as uh, Link does. So that's, that's probably why. I really struggled to shade the coat just because I, I gave it so much detail and wrinkle and I found that the the detailing on the wrinkles just wasn't flattering at all so I ended up deleting it and just giving it a solid block shade there because that's not where the light is hitting the coat anyway and I think that looks a lot better. Sometimes um, adding more detail isn't always a good thing especially it depends on the style you're going for and for me personally I like to do the very bare minimum I can do for a style to look good. I've always gravitated more towards those simpler art styles. Um, not a big fan of realism at all as you can probably tell but there is a lot to learn from us drawing realism it's definitely really good for perspective and anatomy and proportions, but I personally <laughs> am not a big fan of it. I ended up adding the ring necklace that was in the sketch a bit later on. I don't know if I actually ended up recording it, but it does end up in the design, I promise. I wasn't sure what to do with his eyelashes in that position, so um, I opted for less at the top.
here is the final design as you can see the ring made it in there and i hope you guys liked it and finally here are the three final designs let me know which one you guys like best and why I might not reply to all your comments, but I do read all of them and I always love reading your comments, so please let me know. Thank you so much for all the amazing fan art. I have so many talented artists as my fans and I feel really really honored and at the same time, I also feel <laughs> like you guys deserve big YouTube channels more than I do. So. Yeah, I think um, it's my first case of imposter syndrome that I'm experiencing, but that's okay. I think it's pretty much par for the course for most um, art YouTubers, I think. But yeah, please check out my Patreon if you're interested in seeing my videos a day or two early and getting early access to all of my next projects including sneak peeks and behind the scenes of what i'm doing next as well as secret projects i might be working on please follow me on all my social media check out my comic because that will make me really happy and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye